Okay, so this video is going to be about wiring up an ignition onto your 708 Predator. Now, these motors do not come with an ignition. They do come with this uh, junction block. Now, I went ahead and cut that off and spliced the wires together. Only thing I've done differently is added a quick disconnect wiring a harness just because if ever I need to remove the uh, motor later, I can. Now, I went ahead and got the ignition keyed switch from a uh, Predator 670. Now, same horsepower rating and all that stuff, but the wiring colors are all different. So, I had a guy, a buddy of mine, much smarter than I am, come up and help me wire this thing. Uh, basically, the major wires, all you got to worry about. Now are the start with this blue low oil comes up, obviously the blue ties in with this black wire that was a wire that we cut off of the junction block there. Now I spliced them together, ran it through my harness and that connects onto this ignition switch, the black with red stripe, if you can see that. So the blue, Go and the blue and the black connects to that black with red stripes onto this. Now the red and the yellow respectively stay the same color, red and yellow. So they, that's pretty easy. They don't change. Now that's pretty much it through that. The only thing is just my wiring harness. Don't let it get confusing. Now over here, you're going to have a couple more wires coming out of this ignition box comes so to the starter relay the wire that is black with the white stripe go on here and this is only a three post relay you don't need a four post but if you have one you can use it just leave the other one whatever blank or whatever um, the see white all white cable is the other one that comes out of here. And that goes on to the battery side of the starter relay. Now, this will also have a big heavy duty four gauge, just like this, coming off of here, running to the battery positive. And then this, think of it as a, should be red, but due to COVID and shipping and supply and all that, I'm using black, but it's this comes over here to your starter. And that's about it. Uh, your ground anywhere can go to your negative black terminal on your battery. And that should be it. Now, just obviously, I haven't even got my fuel tank connected yet. By sticking this into a little bottle of gas, uh, we were able to actually run it yesterday. So this system does work. It does great. Uh, there's not much data out there on how to get these guys going because if you're like me, uh, electrical is my weakness, but that's how you can get the 670 running with the six. Yeah. The 708 running with the 670 ignition. So yeah, uh, this particular one is going to be powering a seven foot chainsaw bar. So it's going to be pretty slick. Um, these are my little things. I'm going to have my battery here and my gas tank here, which are both right there at the moment. But yeah, so I should have a seven foot Alaskan mill basically, uh, but I'm going to be having it right on some rails, getting rid of the chainsaw head using the 708 vertical shaft. Downside is it doesn't come with some way to start it like all the other ones do. Uh, but yeah, this is all I could find online was a quick little video on how to jumper this little box. And that, yeah, I was able to help me see if the motor was functional, but this is how you can permanently get this thing mounted. All right. Uh, again, this is basically all the wiring you need. Now, I again, for future sake, I do recommend getting some sort of a disconnect so that you can, in fact, remove all the stuff because this guy will probably be permanently mounted here on a bracket, just like my starter relay is. But yeah, so um, at this point, I'm just killing time because uh, I can get better things on a five vid minute video. But yeah, so... But there we go. That's that's what we're doing. I guess they've been discontinued by Harbor Freight, but 
If you've got one, should be a good motor.